Installing SUSE Linux Enterprise Server in a logical partition is easy in the Integrated Virtualization Manager, or IVM. I'll show you how in IVM 2.2 with SLES 11. First, log into IVM as pAdmin. If the partition needs to communicate outside the private virtual network, click Verify slash Modify Virtual Ethernet and then the Virtual Ethernet Bridge tab. If a physical adapter isn't listed, select one and click Apply to establish an external network bridge. Click View slash Modify Partitions. Click the partition in which to install Linux. A new dialog window appears showing the partition's configuration settings. Click the Optical slash Tape Devices tab. Click Physical Optical Devices and Virtual Optical Devices to expand those sections. Select the Physical Optical Device and deselect any Virtual Optical Devices. Click OK. Check the box next to the partition to select it. Click Open Terminal window under the More Tasks pull-down. Log in as pAdmin to authenticate to IVM and complete opening the terminal. Switch the window focus to IVM. Select the partition if it isn't still selected. Click Activate. Confirm that you want to activate the partition by clicking OK. Quickly return to the console and press the 1 key while the boot options are being listed. This selects the SMS menus. Select option 5 to select boot options. Select option 1 to select install slash boot device. Select option 7 to list all devices. Place the installation disk in the disk tray and select the CD-ROM device. Select option 2 for normal mode boot. Select option 1 to exit SMS. Let the partition boot without interruption. At the boot prompt, type install space VNC equals 1 and press enter. The installer boots. Enter a password for VNC. Select option 1 to automatically configure network settings via DHCP. The installer launches a VNC server. Start a VNC client and connect to the server with the connection information displayed and click Connect. Enter the VNC password that you set earlier and click OK. Check the box next to I agree to the license terms and click Next. Click Next to skip the media check. I'll show a simple default install. Select an installation mode of New Installation and click Next. Select a time zone and click Next. Verify the installation settings and click Install. Click I agree to confirm the AGFA-Fonts package license. Click Install. System configuration and package installation begins. Click OK to reboot the system. Return to the console. Let it reboot without interruption. The partition reboots from the virtual hard disk containing Linux. The installer launches a VNC server again. Start a VNC client and connect to the server with the connection information displayed and click Connect.
Enter the VNC password that you set earlier and click OK. Enter a password for the root account and click Next. Click Next to accept the host name and domain name obtained via DHCP. Click Next to accept the network configuration. Select whether or not to test the internet connection and click Next. Review the installation overview and click Next. Select the local user authentication method and click Next. Click Next and then Yes to skip adding a new local user. Read the release notes and click Next. SLES installation is complete. Click Finish. The partition reboots from the virtual hard disk containing Linux. Let it reboot without interruption. Login as root with the password supplied during the install. You can verify the host name and IP address. Switch back to the IVM window and click View slash Modify Partitions. Note that the partition is now running Linux. Visit these links for an installation flowchart and more details about configuration options.